Okay, we're going to have a look at this idea of slope of graph and what exactly it means because it's very important for what we're going to be doing in the next few videos. So the slope of graph, all it, all it is, it's a measure of steepness of a graph. When I talk about a graph, I'm talking about, okay, here's, here's a graph of a straight line. So the graph is this part of it here. Some people, sometimes people confuse the axis with the graph. This is the y-axis and this is the x-axis, but the actual graph is this part here. So if you look at it, this line here has a certain steepness. And if, if you imagine if you were walking, if you were somehow able to stand on the line, if you walk from here to here, you would have walked up a certain steepness. And the steepness between this point and this point is exactly the same as the steepness between this point and this point because it's a straight line. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to put a number on the steepness of a, of a graph, on the steepness of a line or of a curve. So the way we calculate the steepness or the slope is we just work out the change in the y values. I'll explain that in a minute. And we divide it by the change in the x values. So it's very simple. So say we want to work out the slope between this point here and say this point up here. Okay, so let's say that I um, have a look. The, car, the x value corresponding to that point is say 2 and the x value corresponding to this point we'll say is 8. And uh, let's say that the y value corresponding to this point is, let me see, um, we'll say 6 and the y value corresponding to this point is, well, we we'll just say 12. So the slope of this graph is just going to be the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values, which in this case is going to be, well, to work out the change in the y values, I just go 12 minus 6. You can see it's going to be 6, the difference between 12 and 6. So I just go 12 minus 6 divided by the corresponding change in the x values, so 8 minus 2, which is going to be 12 minus 6 is 6, 8 minus 2 is also 6. So the slope of this line here is 1. So that's a, that's a number that tells us the steepness of that line. Let's have a look at another another graph. So say we, we have a few points. Okay, we'll, we'll draw a line as well. And look, this line is a little bit steeper. So say we have this point here. We'll, let's say it is uh, 1. And let's say this point here is 2. So, the cars, so that's the x values. And that corresponds to this point up here. And that's it. That's, so that's 2. So the corresponding y value here is, we'll say... Uh, we say 1 again and the corresponding y value for this we'll say is 4. So this time, okay, to work out the slope of this, the slope is just going to be the change in the y value, so 4 minus 1, so the slope is 4 minus 1 divided by the change in the corresponding change in the x value, so 2 minus 1, so divided by 2 minus 1, so I have 4 minus 1 which is 3 divided by 2 minus 1 which is 1, so I get the slope or, or the steepness as 3. And you can see that this graph is a little bit steeper than this graph. So slope is just a measure of steepness of a graph. Now, they were, they were graphs of straight lines, and they're pretty easy to find the slope of a straight line. What happens if we've got a curve? So something that looks like, uh, let me see, I'll just draw something simple. So say if we have a curve, something like this. Now, if you look at that curve, and if you imagine a person again walking on that curve, when the person walks up here, it's much steeper here in this part of it than it is here. Once, once they get up to the top of the hill, you can see it kind of flattens off and it's not steep at all. So it has, right here you can see it has a slope of zero. Once they come to the edge of the hill or down this part here, you can see the steepness, it, it becomes steep again when they get down to the bottom down here. You can see it flattens out, so the slope is zero. And then once they start walking up here, the steepness increases again. So with the line, you can see that at any point on the line, the steepness is exactly the same. The slope is exactly the same. So in the first line up here, we calculated the slope as being 1. So the slope of this line is 1. That, doesn't, that means that the slope between this point and this point is 1. But it also means the slope between this point and this point is 1. It's a straight line, so the slope never changes. In this line here, the slope was 3. So it doesn't matter which point we points we use on this line to calculate the slope, the slope will always be the same. So, with the curve, the slope changes constantly. So the slope is never the same in, in any two points here. Well, that's not exactly true, but the, you can see that the slope changes constantly. Um, 
So we're going to have to come up with a different idea, a different way to calculate the slope for this. And the, that way is called differentiation. So in the next few videos, we're going to have a look at the idea of differentiation, and it's going to help us calculate the slope of a curve that's like this.